Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. Today's video is all about the Shisu. Before we go on, don't forget to like and share if you really enjoy our content. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when we post more dog-related content. Also, if you're struggling to train your dog or are thinking about getting a puppy, then affordable online professional training is what we suggest. See the link in the description and the pinned comment for more info. Shisu Overview The Shisu originated in Tibet, probably back around the 7th century. Some believe the breed was developed by Tibetan monks and given as gifts to Chinese royalty. According to one theory, this breed descended from a cross between the Pekingese and Lhasa Apso. Historically, the Chinese royals didn't allow the dog to be traded outside of the nobility. It arrived to Europe during the 1930s and to United States shortly after the World War II. Maureen Murdoch and Philip Price were the first to import and breed Shi Su's in the United States. The Chinese communism was a dark time for Shi Su, because they almost extinct. It is documented, that only 14 dogs were saved. This means that every Shi Su, even the one you have on your lap right now is a descendant of these 14 dogs. Shi Su was recognized by the American Kennel Club in 1969 in the toy group. First, let's have a look at the pros. Shi Su's are perfect for people who live in apartments or condominiums. They don't need a lot of outdoor exercise because of their size. Shi Su can be a good choice for a first-time dog owner. There is no need to walk them daily. These pets calmly tolerate the lack of exercise. Since these pups were bred for companionship, they really are the perfect lap pups. Stranger friendly or at least polite and moderate shedder. Adapts well to new surroundings and less yappy than other toy breeds. They are perfect sized companion that you can take on any trip, walk or a vacation with you. Wonderful pets for older couples, seniors, younger adults and families with older kids. This social butterfly doesn't mind the location or surroundings as long as they are with you. People with pet-related allergies can consider this breed because of hypoallergenic coat. They are known to be affectionate with kids and make great therapy dogs due to their friendly nature. This breed usually minds its own business instead of trying to confront other pets. It's now time to look at the cons. While these pups are charming and friendly they can also be a little bossy. A common issue amongst Shih Tzu dogs is the difficulty of housebreaking them. Frequent brushing and combing, or regularly shearing the coat short. Separation anxiety, if left alone for a considerable amount of time. The potty training of this dog breed is longer compared to other dog breeds. If not socialized properly, they can be a little unfriendly towards strangers and children. These pups can have an independent streak, which means training can be a challenge. This breed owners need to be prepared to spend at least half an hour every day on coat maintenance. Interesting facts, even business magnate, philanthropist Bill Gates had a Shih Tzu and its name was Balmer. Singer Mariah Carey owns two lion dogs, named Bing and Bong. The Dalai Lama is a Shih Tzu fan, proving the breed's continued popularity in Tibetan Buddhism. Shi Su was official dog breed of Ming Dynasty which ruled China from 1368 to 1644 AD. The dark comedy crime film, Seven Psychopaths 2012, featured a Shi Su named Bonnie. An animated movie named The Secret Life of Pets 2, 2019, in which a Shi Su named Daisy plays main character. Shi Su's are called chrysanthemum-faced dogs, because the hair on their faces grows in every direction. Appearance, Shi Su has a long, silky gorgeous coat and has a unique characteristic called undershot bite. The color of the coat can be black, silver, gold, black and white, gray and white or red and white. The tail can have a white tip and forehead can have a white blaze. Male Shi Su's weigh 8.8 .8 to 16 pounds whereas females weigh 8.8 .8 to 17.9 both the genders have almost the same height ranging from 7.9 to 11 inches. The average lifespan of Shi Su is between 10 to 18 years. Grooming. It is important to brush their coat on a daily basis so as to avoid hair tangling and matting problems. Brushing is dependent on coat length. 
long coats every day, moderate coats every two days, short coats three days. These canines should be bathed at least once every three to four weeks so that they remain clean and fresh. The hair around the face and head region should also be combed daily and if it is very long and flowy, then it is better to tie it into a topknot so that she eyes are not being irritated by extra hair. Nail trimming can be kept to every four to six week and brush their teeth once a week. Clean your she eye and face every day and check your dog's ears every few weeks. Shedding. She sues to shed but they shed very minimally. They have hair instead of fur which means, like humans, they lose a small amount of hair each day rather than go through periods of intense shedding. When spring arrives they shed their winter coat to replace it with lighter hair. Similarly, they shed during fall to replace the light summer coat with a heavier winter coat. When they are pregnant, they also lose a lot of hair. Cost. On average a she puppy will cost $850 in the USA and most puppies can be found between $500 and $1,600. The average price of a she su puppy in India is around 15,000 to 20,000 rupees. Price range can vary based on the dog's quality, lineage, location and quality of the breeder. Exercise and trainability. Exercise helps to strengthen their circulatory and respiratory system, keeps their joints flexible. A six-plus-month puppy needs at least one brisk walk of 20 minutes every day. Adults' dogs need two to three walks of 20 to 30 minutes duration. Shih Tzus are readily trainable with positive training techniques based on rewards. On the other hand, being harsh will damage the relationship with the pup. Training should start with the basics such as teaching your pup to walk on a leash. Early socialization is also crucial as it ensures the friendly behavior of the pup. Like any other dog, they become timid if not socialized early. Digging boxes, frisbee, hide and seek are excellent for Shih Tzus in order to keep them agile. Intelligence. Shih Tzus have lowest degree of working, obedience intelligence. According to The Intelligence of Dogs by Stanley Koren, Shih Tzu is ranked 70. Understanding of new commands 100 to 500 repetitions and obeys first command 20% of the time or better. Swimming. Shih Tzus aren't inherently good at swimming due to their naturally low stamina, short snout, and short legs. In general, most she have an instinctual ability to swim. However, they lack enough stamina to swim across long distances. Barking. Shih Tzus have a habit of expressing themselves with their barks and howls. They tend to bark at people and dogs passing the window, or off in the distance when walking. Normally, you will see a Shih Tzu starting to bark once they are about three weeks old. However, they can be extremely loud, especially when they bark. Generally, when your Shih Tzu barks, it is trying to alert you about some danger or possible threat. Weather and climate, Shih Tzus are not able to comfortably thrive in very hot climatic conditions. It is highly recommended to keep these dogs inside the house if the outside temperature is very high. In addition, if the weather is really hot, it is best to avoid any type of exercise. Shih Tzus aren't suited for cold weather but may enjoy a short romp in the snow. Shih Tzu dogs tolerate cold weather far better than warm days. The temperature that is too cold for Shih Tzus is around 4 degrees Celsius, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Friendliness. Shih Tzu can be a suitable breed for kids if it's been properly trained and well socialized from an early age. However, make sure that young children learn how to treat their little friends properly. Because of their affectionate nature and usually docile temperament, she make wonderful family pets. In general, the Shih Tzu gets along quite well with other dogs, large and small. They love the company of other dogs and are known to make new canine friends fairly quickly. These poochers are happy to play various games and have no problem in sharing toys, food or space with others. In general, Shih Tzus are considered to be one of the most cat-friendly dog breeds you can get. It's important to note that it really depends on the individual animal's personalities. They don't see smaller animals as prey, making them ideal to get along with cats. If trained properly, then Shih Tzus have no problem in mixing well with the new people. Without proper guidance, she might remain reserved and quiet whenever they are around strangers. 
Adaptability. Because of their size and temperament, a Shi Su makes the best choice for small apartments. They don't require a lot of space for comfort and don't mind where they live, as long as they can be with you. Their exercise needs are minimal and love to spend their time resting and relaxing inside their homes. If you want a dog with a lot of character, a she may be a perfect choice for your first dog. This breed is fairly easygoing in nature and due to its small size, low exercise needs, minimal shedding, decent trainability, and good adaptability, it can be pretty easily recommended for a first-time owners. She can be left alone for a reasonable amount of time during the day, but adequate training is essential. Puppies should not be left alone for longer than two hours to avoid developing separation anxiety. Adult dogs may be left alone for four to six hours a day and senior dogs should not be left alone for more than two to five hours. Distracting she mind by giving them dog puzzles or other toys to play with help in reducing separation anxiety. Guard, watchdog, Shi Su's are not known for their guarding abilities but they can act as great watchdogs and can efficiently alert their owners in case of an intruder or a trespasser. They are also territorial in character, which means they are fiercely protective of their possessions, which include their home, yard or garden, and other items they believe are theirs. Drooling. Like all dogs, Shi Su's have a habit of drooling. They only dribble whenever they are eat something or want to eat something from their owners. A Shi Su puppy will start teething when they are around 3 months old and one sign of a Shi Su teething is if they start to drool more than usual. Food and Nourishment Here are the foods that are not allowed for Shi Su because they are hazardous to them. Onion They have the capability to damage the red blood corpuscles, RBC. Chocolate Many people are well aware that chocolate isn't good for a dog's health. Grapes and Raisins only a small amount of these foods are sufficient to cause severe kidney damage. Salt. The large quantity may cause serious kidney issues although a small amount is necessary. Fruit seeds and pits. The pits and seeds of certain fruits that include pears, apples and apricots. Tea, soda, and coffee. Caffeine can result in seizures, coma, and ultimate death. Health issues. Some health issues that she go through are keratitis, proptosis, progressive retinal atrophy, hip dysplasia etc. They also face hypothyroidism which means the thyroid gland doesn't function properly. Symptoms of hypothyroidism in she include extreme fatigue, hair loss, abnormal appetite, excessive need to urinate, and weight gain. However, with proper care and attention, your she su can live a long, healthy and happy life. Do you have a history with this breed? Let us know about it in the comments. Thanks for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.